Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to thank all 977 subscribers. We're almost at my goal of 1,000 subscribers for this channel. Um, if you can, help me out with that. All you have to do is click subscribe. You should have a red subscribe button somewhere around here. Um, you'll get updates a lot faster for when I uh, upload videos to the site. Um, I can tell you that on the weekend, sometimes I do some uploading. So if you're one of those types of people that likes to look at this stuff on the weekend, um, you'll be uh, informed if you set the subscribe settings to alert you when they're uploaded. Okay, well, today we are going to talk about something called the activity formatter. And I'm going to show you how to create one. Um, and you're probably most familiar with the activity formatter. Um, within the incident form, it's probably the most common use of it, or sometimes on different uh, forms or tables that extend the task table. So we're just gonna go through uh, what this is. And right here, we're just looking at the incident list. And what I did was just click on a sample incident to look at. And this is what the activity formatter is. And now you're probably like, okay, I know what this is now by looking at it. And we can see here, there's been four activities added to this. Um, some are by the system, some are by me, um, and we can see the different items that are added here. Um, one thing I wanted to note is that you're going to have to to create the activity form formatter. You're going to need the admin role to do that, and I'm going to show you how to add it or uh, create it in just a second. And then if you're going to uh, configure the available fields, you're going to need the personalized form, or I'm using admin. Um, to go ahead and take care of that. So when you're opening up your filter options here, uh, you might not be able to configure the field. So I just wanted to note that. So to create the formatter, we're going to go to system UI dash formatters, or I just type in format here, and it'll bring you to a list like this. And then what I did was I just want to do another screen where it just has my stuff here that's been created. And I already went through the motions of creating one for an application called BCY, uh, also known as Babe Can You. So when you click on new, you're going to come to a screen like this. Uh, you want to be mindful of the application that you're creating it in. I created in the BCY application. Um, and then right here, this is the trick. You're going to type in activity.xml, and then you're going to find the table name. And in order to find the table name, uh, if you don't know it for your application, you should know it for your application. You can go to the form, you can go to the studio. Uh, probably the simplest way to do it is to go to the actual table right here, and you'll see right here uh, the name of the table is right there. So after that, uh, you know you can click save and type as formatter. So all this will be entered in for you. So active, type, and then the application will be selected based on whichever uh, update set you're in. Um, so right here, or application you're in, excuse me, not update set. So um, the only things you'll have to type in are right here and uh, select the table. So uh, I'm going to show you how to add it to the form now, because after you create it, you have to add it to the form. So, and I'm sorry about um, some information I just gave to add it to the form. What you need is the personalized form role not the admin role. So to add it to the form, um, that, that'll be fine. So one thing I like to do now um, is also give a shout out to uh, Brad Potter, who's in the United Kingdom. And uh, Brad's company, uh, Third Republic, uh, they recruit for ServiceNow professionals. So if your company is looking to enhance the recruitment efforts, um, please contact Brad. Um, also, if you're a ServiceNow professional, um, feel free to go ahead and contact Brad on LinkedIn. Um, and now moving on, uh, we'll take a look at our application here, BCY. So this is just the table or the lists here. And then when you click on a new one, and I created this application myself, um, and we can create a new one. So I thought I had done that, but we'll just put in a couple of categories here or a couple of items and uh, when to complete. I'm going to put in a hundred bucks there and then maybe a need receipt will come up and we can click save. And while that's saving, um, 
what we would do is to add the formatter, and I'll show you at the bottom here, the formatter is not here. The formatter, I want to be right here. So after this assignee section, and we'll two finger click, go to configure and form design. And when you go to form design, this screen will pop up right here. And what we're going to do is add a section first, and it defaults to a two column, but I want a one column, so I'm gonna change it to one column. And then I'm going to go down here to formatters, and we'll see this activity is filtered. And uh, for some reason, I saw also in the documentation it had said something about um, you could add two um, activity formatters. So I guess along the way, maybe I created two by accident, but the system's only going to let you uh, add one to the form. So just uh, just a note on that in case you see two here, um, like in my example. And I'm going to click save right here. And now let's go back and let's reload our form. And now we're going to see here we have our activity yeah, formatter right here. And it's going to give us some things. Uh, we have our state, BCY category. And now uh, maybe I want to add something else. So let's see if I can add another item here. And I probably should have looked on the form right before I did that. But um, I don't know. Is there a priority? Or maybe I can just remove one. Now let's click save right here. And this will also help you out or help you understand when you're auditing things. So I used to be an auditor back in the day, uh, audited for some, something called ISO 20,000. So you can add more here. It's just depending, it you know, depends on what's in your, your filter setting. So that's one thing I definitely wanted to point out. So if you want to add stuff to the form, um, you're going to have to do that. And you're going to need, um, I believe, admin or personalized form to, to get this done. You'll probably want to check the documentation on that. I was experimenting with it using another user or impersonating another user, excuse me. And uh, I did not see this option available. So that's it for today. I hope this helps you out with your um, auditing activities um, here in the U.S. Um, today is the, uh, the tax deadline, so I thought it would be a rather appropriate uh, topic to talk about. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.